also make mitosis, the best recipe. What are we going to need? We will need the following ingredients. A cell that has already gone through all the phases of interface. You can find information about interface in our last video. But the basic things you should know is that in the phase in which cells are most of their life, and it is made up of three phases, G1, S, and G2. Having said this, we proceed to start with our recipe. Step 1. We can call this prophase. We will need to make our chromatin previously re replicated in interface and condense it into little pieces called chromosomes. We will call this step chromatin condensation. In order to do this, we will to take the homologous strokes of DNA and use it to smash the chromatin until you get something like this. The two sister chromatids must touch each other in only one point, the centrosome. The next thing you will need to do is to push one centrosome to, <clears throat> to one end of the cell and the other one to the opposite end. Then you will need to get rid of the nucleus by dissolving it. Continue by dispersing its contents in the cell. In order to continue with our mitosis receipt, we will need to break apart the nuclear membrane. Then attach chromosomes to microtubules, but you must connect them to the centromeres. The third step is named as metaphase. This step is one of the most difficult ones, so you must do it very carefully. Take the chromosomes and piece them aligned in the middle of the cell and still attach to the microtubules. If we don't do this step right, our whole mitosis might go wrong. Then, the next step we will follow is anaphase. Here, we will need to pull one chromatid to its pole or centrosome. To do this, we will use microtubules to help us. Finally, the last thing we need to do is telophase, which consists in making a new nucleus for each new cell around the genetic material of each pole. We have to make a new nucleolus for each cell also. The spindle begins to disappear by itself, and we have to make the chromosomes unwind into expanded chromatin, again, just as in the beginning. To finish with, we will separate both daughter cells by a process called cytokinesis. And that's it. That's how you make cell mitosis. Thanks for your attention and we hope you learned how to make mitosis.